Yo guys, it's Slyro, you already know that today we're playing some more Danganronpa on the last episode. We had uh, some fun, you know, we had some time uh, hanging out uh, with uh, Chihiro and Sakura, and then uh, Mondo and Taka went off and, uh, let's just say they hung out uh, by themselves, and had a grand old time, and uh, I mean, I don't know if Makoto had a grand old time, I had a pretty good old time, um, but we woke up this morning, I believe. I believe. Let me double check the log. I'm pretty sure. Uh, pretty unfortunate. Yeah, breakfast morning. Okay, so we went back to our room. So I do think it's like free time ish. So it's it's so it's during the day. We haven't done anything, but Toko came and rang our doorbell. So let's figure out what that is about because she is not one to a come out of a room and b talk to someone, especially not me. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Toko, what's the matter? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? No, you just never come out of your room. Well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wonder what was going on. I have a favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with you. Or where do you want me to go? Uh, I'm not going to the sauna with you, if that's what you're going to ask. <laughs> where is it you want me to go? Well, the library. Ooh, okay. Huh, are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Ooh. I got a reaction? Did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. Honestly, I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library. Okay, got it, the library. Yeah, geez, why so pushy? Why'd she want to go to the library so bad? Quiet, be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. Uh, she actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept in the library. <laughs> I don't know if that alone is annoying. I would like to know why she's trying to... It looks like she's trying to avoid Byakuya for some reason. Oh. Uh, unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's... <laughs> she sounds creepy. He's here. Uh, he's really here. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. Alright, I will do that, I guess. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't, I don't want to interrupt him. Huh? Wait, I thought we were trying to avoid him. What are we doing? That's kind of crazy. So, I'm just going to be like, hey, Togo wants me to talk to you for some reason. What is happening? This whole chapter has been so weird, dude. Uh, seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Of course. Now hurry up and leave. And take her with you. Hey, um, Byakuya? Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman dominated by a strong man? I... Did he say that? I don't remember the context that was said in. I don't... Okay, boy. I never said that. Yeah. I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded something you might say. I was about to say, I was like, what context was that in? There's no way you said that. <laughs> Get out. You go take a bath. You smell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me say it again. Go now, before your stench latches on to the entire room. Oh, okay. What is happening, dude? Yeah, he really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I think that's kind of how he always is. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Byakuya, to go that far, you must be really concerned about me. Huh? How'd you take that from... I love that Makuta said, huh? Because that's what I said. How did you take that from that? He told me to take a bath and everything. You must really care about my well-being. Uh... I mean, if you smell that bad, I don't think that's for your well-being. That's probably more for his well-being and everyone around you's well-being. Hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Byaki and I would be good together? Uh, well, now I don't really know. No, I don't. I don't think so at all. Sure, That's true. There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Ha you mean your obsession, or...? This is so weird. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. I mean, you do write love novels, so I guess you're an expert. Uh, but you're also a high school girl, so... Those things kind of contradict each other. Okay. There might come a day when you understand. Maybe someday. Well, bye. What a weird thing to happen. 
Ah, young love. Ah. Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Yeah, I'll let him do that laugh. Uh, all of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now? <laughs> uh, I mean, is it like free time? Or is it like... Oh, there's still some, left to, so, some time left in the day. There is free time. Um, Alright. I don't think I have any nice coins. No, I have zero nice coins. Um, Who can we hang out with that we haven't, have not hung out with? Curry pack made for kids. Uh, what is that about? You want to expect from a kid's food? Uh, is there anyone here that's like super into like food? Um, hmm. Would Hina be like upset if I gave that to her? I don't know. I feel like that's, she, I, I feel like there's something vaguely in my mind about her eating stuff that, I don't know, that might be from whatever. Uh, food stuff that tastes isn't bad and certain snakes that enjoy hide and go see are just crazy about it. I don't, okay. I don't know what that means. Uh, Scarum. I don't know who likes bugs. Um, we already did that. We already did that. Flowers. You can do it over and over again. Hmm. That's interesting. Another flower? Hellos and farewells. Language of flowers. Oh, love. Okay, I feel like that would be another Toko thing. I don't really want to hang out with her right now. She's being a little weird. Um... Hmm, another weapon. Uh, let's see, warp through walls. Of course, it doesn't actually exist in reality. But I think Mondo would like uh, that sort of weapon. We haven't hung out with him. That sounds like a weird thing to do. Let's hang out with Mondo. Um, I don't know if he'll like that weapon or not, but I feel like he wouldn't hate it. Right? So let's find out where he is. Uh, he's probably not in Toko's room. Uh, not the warehouse. Not the kitchen. Ah, the dining hall. Okay. We can go to the dining hall. It's not very far from my room, actually. Uh, this way. Oh, Hero's over there. Maybe we should hang out with him at some point. But I've already decided to hang out with Mondo, because I have a weapon for him. <laughs> I don't know why I would want to give him a weapon, but, you know, we don't think about these things. Uh, hey, Makoto, what's up? Uh, should I hang out with Mondo for a while? Yeah, sure. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, you got kind of weird, you know that? You ain't afraid of me. I want to hang out. Yeah, I probably... Should be afraid of you. You have punched me across the room. Um, you, your emotions are all over the place. I don't know. I mean, whatever. Well, whatever. You want to go get something to drink? We are in the dining hall. Why don't I went to the dining hall and had some tea? Very nice. And Mondo and I grew a little closer today. Yeah. Let's let's give him a present. Let's give him that weapon. I'm just gonna give him a giant sword. Um. I don't know if anything specifically about swords calls to him, but I think violence calls to him, so, you know. Uh, sure, let's try it out. <laughs> uh, well, if you're offering, can't say no. Better not ask for a bet. I get the impression that he liked it. That's good. Alright, cool. I was right. I don't know if it's his favorite, but I would have been hard. I, I would have been very surprised if he disliked it. Uh, hey, Makoto, what's your ride? Huh? My, my ride? I'm a high school student. I don't think I have a ride. Eh, yeah, man, your hog, your chopper, your motorcycle. Huh? Do you think that everybody rides a motorcycle? Yeah, I don't I don't ride anything. What? You're not a little kid anymore, right? And you still don't have a hog? God, you're such a fucking dweeb. Uh, sorry? Alright, man, I'm gonna educate you. A real man rides Kawasaki, okay? That's what I ride. You wanna see it, man? The V-Twins got that monster power, it's like you're dancing. Cause it ain't just for anyone. You gotta have the skill to handle it. Uh, yeah, you must really love your motorcycle. Hell yeah, I do. I'm a goddamn biker, ain't I? We crazy as hell. I can tell. Yeah, you're the leader of the biggest biker gang in Japan, right? Damn straight. You miss a crazy diamond gang. You wanna come on a ride with us? A monster sound coming out of that straight pipe? Hot damn. Straight pipe? Come on, you gotta know what a straight pipe is, right? Is it a part of the motorcycle? <laughs> uh, it's like when something's missing, right? That's why it makes a monster sound. Uh, got no muffler? That's what I'm thinking. So the motorcycle doesn't have a muffler, right? Uh, so you did know. Good. I mean, I just took an educated guess. 
Uh, and that's that. Next time we ride, you ride with us. Man, that makes me think back to when I first started riding. My big bro used to ride too, you know? Uh, his name is Daya. Daya and Mondo. Alright, uh, oh. He's still talking. Uh, together we were the Diamond Brothers. Oh, Diamond. Diamond. Ah, very clever game. I got you. Uh, together we were the Diamond Brothers. Every, everyone up and down the country knew us. Of course, that was always a cool one. The Diamond Brothers, that sounds kind of incredible. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Diamond is unbreakable. Or so they say. Uh, the first time I went out, I ended up at the back of the pack. Eventually, the cops got on us, surrounded me. I was some tough shit, man. Right. So I pulled up. I pulled over. When they came up to me, let's just say it was a massacre. A, a massacre? Uh, what did you do to the police? And how are you not in jail for the rest of your life? Uh, man, Mondo, uh, you must really be strong. Of course, you can't weigh the banner of our game without that kind of strength. In a fight, they'll go for the leader first. Kill the leader of the pack, you know? That's why the other gangs come after me. But I thought you had the respect of all the gangs everywhere. Uh, so you won't be the leader of the pack. You gotta, be, you gotta be a tough motherfucker. You'll see what I mean when we get on our first ride. Get ready for it. Uh, actually, maybe it's better if I don't get involved in that kind of thing. It's like I said, I don't have a motorcycle. I don't even know how to drive one. I'm also super weak. I don't have a personality. And it's against the rules for me to develop one. Uh, you can ride with me. Uh, ride with Mondo. But other gangs target him first, right? No, no way. Hey, I say get ready for it. Damn, I am pumped. I can't wait to get out of here now. Mono left apparently in a pretty good mood. Crap, this is really bad. <laughs> Even if I get out of here, I might still be in real trouble. <laughs> what have we got ourselves into? Oh, uh, boy. I don't know why, why I... You know, I don't care about Makoto. I don't care putting him in danger. He's not me. Dragging my anxiety behind me. I went back to my room. Alright, so more free time is going to go to nighttime because something else already happened in the day. Yeah, nighttime. Makes sense. All right, all right, we got that nice big dong, big bong. Get the nighttime announcements. And then we go into the next day. Uh-huh. The time is quick. Oh, but before it arrives. Ooh, before it arrives. All students, please gather in the gym immediately. Okay. Apparently there's an emergency. We got to go to the gym? Huh, why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling, and this creepy music starts playing... Oh, no. All right, well, let's just leave. Yep, yep, yep. To the gym we go. Hey, Kyoko, you got any uh, insight on what's going on here? Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to, f to defy him here and now. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokun tells me. All right, the gym is in the other way, right? I am pretty sure the gym's over here. I probably could teleport, but whatever. We'll get some exercise. Um, There's the scary red door. And there's that. Yeah, the gym's over this way, correct? I should probably... Nope. Gym. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I was like, I should probably develop a, a, a good sense of the layout of the school instead of just teleporting literally everywhere. Um, so it's nice that I still kind of know where it is. Um, I would talk to Hifumi, but that's Hifumi. So we're just going to go to the gym. All right. Oh, Hifumi teleported. Hmm. Ask us together, uh, together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Exactly. Indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> hmm. He keeps things interesting, that's for certain. How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. You want Byakuya to be your housewife, or... What? I don't think he'd be good in that role, honestly. There's something totally messed up with this if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm. Yeah, we already had this whole discussion on what his views on this game and situation are. So, I don't know why we're being surprised about this. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone. But I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? Seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. That's just... I wonder what actually happened. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it We're right in the middle of a major urban area. The police suck! <laughs> true. Alright, Hifumi can have a good point every once in a while. Whatever. On the contrary, the mastermind may uh, be just that powerful to take control even of the police. 
Uh, this might not be related, but... And don't say it. <laughs> okay. Wait, am I agreeing with uh, with Hifumi and Toko in one uh, scene? Things are things are going crazy. <laughs> nope. Gonna say it. <laughs> it's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space, you know? But all of a sudden, I heard it. You heard what? A sound that... I mean, I don't really know what it was. What kind of sound? <laughs> well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it... It was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? What are they, like building more facilities for us, like in the school or something? I mean, I could just be making that up. Uh, I only just barely heard anything. Then you definitely made it up. Must have been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? What? What is this? Cutscene time? I don't know what that was, who that was. Was that uh, Monokuma? Yeah, yeah, there he is. I probably should have guessed that was Monokuma from the question marks. Hmm. I love Monokuma's music. I've really come around on it. Uh, he's arrived. What he heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? And why would Hero be the only one to, to, to hear it? Ah, ah, ah. Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. Fine, then let's move on with what you can tell us. Why'd you call us all here? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all of its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this whole hum boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Listen, can I just be frank? The next black kid hasn't shown up yet, and I'm just getting bored. So, I decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Ooh, motivate. Is it another set of videos or something? Yeah, that got that got someone to, to, to kill quick. I guess that video wasn't enough for anybody else to, to kill, though. Just one. Are you going to show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive me to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. Yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh... I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... Embarrassing Memories and Secrets. Ooh. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating on my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. Ooh. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second uh, to take a peek. Uh, as Monokuba spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto went to bed until he was in fifth grade. Oh no, it's the end of the world! <laughs> I mean, okay. Uh, I don't think anybody cares. Like, yeah, it's weird, but you're, what, probably six to eight years removed from that? Um, the longer time passes, the less people care. What? How? How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. Yo, this music. That's a really nice music track. I like that. You have 24 hours. If someone uh, doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah, wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate. Yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant. Trust me, none of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? <laughs> Makoto just goes on a killing spree. He's like, I'd rather be a murderer than let people know that I used to wet the bed. It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we never kill over something like that. Okay, all right, Makoto, yeah. Oh, what do you say? He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. Oh no. Is it because for better or for worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside wor world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? <clears throat> that just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then, in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. So sad, so depressed. Fair not well. 
Oh, he's so sad. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Alright, so... Seems like Hina and Taka, for sure, don't... Are kind of in, like, the similar boat as us, where, like, their secret is probably like, Yeah, you don't want people to know, but it's not that bad. But I don't know if everybody is going to be in that same boat or not. Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? That would work. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I don't want to hear your st stupid story. What? Ha, ah, what a clever way for the game to not actually need to come up with anything. Besides, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. Hmm. Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible? How is it impossible? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. Absolutely not. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. All right, you dude, chill. As I said. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said I don't want to talk about a human bag of lard. Yeah, I agree, kind of. I don't know, whatever. I agree with him. There's no need to discuss it. Yeah, of course he would say that. His probably isn't even that bad either. Uh, what do you think, Chihiro? Um, sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. <clears throat> if everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, that's, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's going about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. Although, if people really don't want people to know, but like Monokuma, like everyone's going to know in 24 hours. So, I mean, this is kind of presenting a little bit of a dilemma. You think no one's going to kill over it, but I I don't know. Secret's so bad, you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? Definitely not. Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Yeah, because then you're going to hear all the secrets that you don't want to talk about right now. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't trust anybody. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. Uh, I definitely expect Taka to kill the least out of everyone here, at least over this. Maybe there's a reason for him to kill in the future, but I don't expect him to be the next uh, murderer of any sort. Uh, so, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... <clears throat> mm. Does that make it nighttime? As my voice is dying. <clears throat> Alright, cool, yeah, yeah, I don't know why I was, like, letting it play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Going with the bag webs, bugs, blade, all that fun stuff. Nighttime already, huh? Hi, let's all call it a day. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. Uh, I was left with an an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Mm hmm. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Uh, geez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. What is this creepy music? I fell asleep. What I didn't know is that even then a tragedy was taking place. Alright, so they're basically just telling us that something bad's happening over this. Alright, well let's have a dream or a nightmare. What kind of existential crisis will Monokuma put, it in, put us in today? Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, what's the difference between like, Oops, I killed him and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Okay. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? There's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation and resolve. Uh, I don't know if those are the words I would use. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Huh. Okay. Morning? Who's speaking? Good Good morning? Oh! Oh my gosh! That is kind of terrifying. Why? 
Why'd you wake me up? Nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What are you doing here? I'm gonna spice things up. So instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates. What? Ooh. Oh, what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No. <laughs> what if Sir Poilus, especially now when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Ooh, we're at the dining hall. Who's here? Who's not? Oh, there's only four people here. <laughs> Hi, Makoto. What? Are you okay? Boy. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, oh, Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and Yaki, uh, that's surprising. You're the only ones here, where's everyone else? Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Moshiro. It can't be, uh, it can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Mon Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. What? So if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. <laughs> just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook, do you realize how dangerous that is? What? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good is it to me? Uh, what good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Stop saying that already. What? If something wrong with them for sure, if it's serious, whatever. <laughs> Did you get brainwashed or something? What? Uh, that's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. <laughs> She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Hmm. The game is afoot. Hmm. <laughs> We're gonna find out what happened on the next time. So I hope you enjoyed this cliffhanger and uh, this episode. Go ahead and leave a like and I will see you next time. Peace.